Okay, for folks who may have paid attention and may have seen the earlier stream, I am replaying some of Arbor Pines uh, because I muted my mic and uh, for the last six holes I was not able to do uh, commentary because of it. Um, so I'm replaying them and I'll be offering some commentary. So just picking up where we left off uh, last time. All right, thirteenth hole. All right, cool lighting on this hole coming through the trees. I like the way it looks. Uh, and see down the fairway. It's tough to see this bunker. I think I would want. Um, Maybe these trees here to be cleared away, um, just replaced with some small bushes and stuff, just so that I get a clear look at this at this bunker here. It's a pretty cool idea. Uh, this bunker here looks like it's just kind of squeezed in there. Doesn't look all that great. Uh, let's just kind of move over here. Interesting green there. Second shot looks interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, slight pinch of the fairway here. Um, sculpting around this bunker could use a little bit of work. Um, should flatten that out right there. Um, just so that, or bring this in, bring the fairway around it, instead of having the fairway slope off like this in this area. Um, Okay, second shot, in the bunkers are here to kind of grab bad shots. This bunker comes into play, uh, pins that might be back left. Um, the screen's okay. It's a little small, a little bit small, not too not too egregious. Uh, it's a little on the smaller side. Uh, bunkers are okay. Um, we have a really good sight line. It's just kind of straight up the hill. It's not even really up. It's only two feet. Again, green is covered in shadows. Did that run away from me? I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah. Um, it's a, that is a really tough pin. All right, so because it's it runs away, you can use the tongue and roll up. And it's, the shot's a little bit long for my taste for that, but that's not too terrible. Um, being that there's a clear bounce on path, I guess that was the idea of it. So that's not too bad. Okay, 14th hole, nice par 3 here, it's not really um, adventurous in terms of like elevation, I like the rock and the grass on the left, it's pretty cool, just a little bit natural there, uh, without going overboard. I think with the bunker here, I think what you want to do is not have the sand go all the way up, but raise this area, right? I can't I don't know if I can. All right, so right in this area, raise that up, and then raise that area up so that from this angle, from the ground level, you can see that the grass 
all the way around the top. It gives it a nice rounded lip rather than seeing the sand, uh, sort of an infinity sand look um, through part of the bunker. Um, I think this bunker is more of what I'm talking about. See how we have right along the back. Uh, I don't know if you can see my cursor here, but just right up there. Uh, really, really nice look of the lit there. I don't know if my cursor is shown on, on the stream there, but uh, it's a pretty cool look. Oh, yeah, my cursor is. I'm looking, watching the stream. Uh, this screen's a little bit small, um, smaller side also. Uh, it's, it's still not terrible. par five that I won't reach with uh, pro clubs um, so if any so if you noticed um, this stream and and the previous stream uh, I'm using different club set uh, the reason being is that tempo is too wild on PC and earlier stream I was on uh, ps4 so it's a different reason for different club sets. Uh, I think this bunker, uh, and I think this bunker needs to be moved to the right just a little bit. Um, instead of it being nearly dead center, there should be a distinct wider and narrower path. I realize the right side is is slightly narrower, but maybe if we moved it over another few feet, um, you'd really get it pronounced because. Then you're really hitting risk right here, I, and I hit a bad shot, but, you know, should be marginal, should be marginally uh, challenging to hit, and of course I missed it, but, um, I almost think it's not quite risky enough, and the safe is maybe a little too safe, especially since I'm using, um, well, the safe is not quite safe enough, especially since I'm using pro clubs and I can't reach uh, into anyway. It's just really a thought. I think I would like to see a little bit more disparity between the two sides. Um, so two holes with uh, bunkers in the fairway. And they're both, they're splined and they don't have a uh, rough around them. I think I would have gone with the rough uh, around them. Is that Augusta style bunker is not something that we've seen a lot of throughout the course. All right, this pond. This pond looks like we wanted water here and just through in a pond um, it doesn't look like it's part of the landscape really um, so just I know we kind of dressed it up with some natural planting and stuff it just doesn't look natural um, because of it um, things like I want water here so I'm gonna put water here rather than water goes here and I'm gonna build my hole around it um, it just looks like you know, a puddle that we dressed up. I think that's the biggest thing. One of the best ways to make something look natural is to use larger forms, larger um, points of focus um, that you can use on multiple holes. So that, hey, there's that pond again, or there's that water feature again. Okay. Um, same comment on the bunker on the right that I had a couple holes ago, where the infinity sand look isn't carried through the entire bunker. Um, it just looks like we could do a little bit better job there, raising the back edge. Um, 
I wish this green was elevated just a little bit. Because I've got this really cool hill right here in my vision. And then kind of tucked behind it is the green. I'd like to see the green elevate just a little bit above that hill. Just... Um, I also do like the hazard here and the orientation of this green. Um, basically, you know, getting at this back right, I've got to take on more of this hazard or I can play it safe to the left. Oh, jeez, I'm between clubs here. Oh, that's right. That's not good. Could have been much worse. That was a bad spot to put in with this green. Uh, running that way as it does. Uh, overall, playable, playability wise, is a good hole. Minor aesthetic things to clean up. Low lighting on these um, holes, making it look dark on my screen. Um, so I like how this comes out. I wish I could see this green. I really like how it's it's dark in the trees, but it opens up uh, into a light area, and the green really stands out. Um, I would take out this one tree. Like I would take out the trees over here so that you don't cast a shadow on this green. Um, and then I would lower this area of the fairway down so that it goes down and then up so that I could see the green and, and this bunker behind it, um, which is highlighted because of the the sun coming through the clearing in the trees. Uh, I'm kind of missing all of that on this second shot. Um, tough pin position back here. Really small tier. Um, reasonable shot. I've got eight iron in, so it's reasonable. Uh, it's a little bit different than what we've seen Throughout the rest of the course, maybe we'd like to see a lot more of that. Uh, add a little bit of, of challenge to the course. Oh. <laughs> well, that stinks. Ooh, course sucks. I didn't chip in. See, I like this. Got a nice look. I'm in the shade. Fairways and sun. Looks warm and inviting. Uh, bunker looks okay. I think I would raise this part of the ground too. But that's just me. Fairway is narrow without much of a safe spot. I mean, I'm hitting pro clubs, and I'm hitting to a narrow spot. There's not really a safe layup spot. See, I like this. And this is what I meant earlier. I have the fairway trickle down and have the green come up. See, I'm still hitting downhill. Still hitting seven feet downhill, but the the terrain it, I could see over the crest of the hill down into a little gully. The green is elevated a little bit. I've got a really good view of the bunkers again right over here. I'd do something. Uh, uh, don't really love this the ponds here. Um, is this the same pond? I think I had this question before. I don't think it's the same pond. I don't think either one of these is the same pond. No, I don't know. All right. So I'm playing off the side hill lie, which I like. So it's going to go to the right. And then it's going to come left again. This is the wind.
go check out the clubhouse if I can. Clubhouse is, uh, it's, it's okay. It's fairly generic. Um, the fencing doesn't go all the way out to the edge of the patio, which is interesting. And it's kind of set in the back. I'd like to see it more, but pretty cool. I like the course. I had fun playing it. Um, you know, just really some minor stuff. Min minor stuff to work on, but overall, really, really cool. Um, like I said, I had fun playing the course. Did I? Okay. All right, cool. Perfect.